crosses, but don't insult my selling. That cross is a line. One line? Oh, you don't see it? That's because I just sold it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Online English. I'm Sahara and today we have another video about Modern Family. And in this video, we have Claire and her husband, Phil. Phil is trying to move around some things in the garage and his old car is in the way. He ends up falling and knocking a bunch of things over. Claire gets upset and she wants to sell the car. So let's see what happens. Let's go. If you want to know the translation in your language, be sure to check the translated subtitles here. Honey, do you need me to move the car? Oh, it's not in the way. Oh, no. Iron Cross. She's going down. Oh, God. Do you need me to move the car? Do you need me to... This structure can be used with an infinitive verb to offer help to someone. For example, do you need me to call the doctor for you? Or do you need me to water the plants? Oh, it's not in the way. Oh, no. Iron Cross. She's going down. Oh, God. Phil picks up the bike and immediately loses his balance. An iron cross is a type of exercise that requires a lot of upper body strength. He shouts iron cross here, possibly to motivate him into not falling. She's going down. This expression is usually used as an exclamation for sinking ships. In English, usually ships are gendered as female, which is why Phil says she is going down and not it is going down. You okay? Yes, I am. I am okay. Honey, why do we keep this car? It's a classic. No, it just sits here and the seatbelts don't work. The doors stick, it leaks fluids. We haven't put fluids in it in 10 years. Well. You okay? Yes, I am. I am okay. Honey, why do we keep this car? Honey is a term of endearment between romantic couples or close friends. Other words English speakers use to refer to loved ones are babe, baby, love, and dear, among other ones. It's a classic! Classic is an adjective that means timeless or having lasting quality. We usually use this word to describe cars, clothes, or even songs from the past. No, it just sits here and the seatbelts don't work. The doors stick, it leaks fluids. We haven't put fluids in it in 10 years. Well, Claire is describing some issues with the car. She says it sits here. The verb sit can be used for people but also objects that remain in a particular place for a time. For example, I left my keys sitting on the table. She also says the car somehow leaks fluids even though they haven't put any in it for 10 years. Fluids for cars can refer to the engine oil, hydraulic fluid, brake fluid, transmission fluid, and even wiper fluids that are used to clean the windshield. She is using fluids to say that they haven't kept up with the general maintenance of the car. I'm gonna fix all that anyway, and then uh, it's gonna be Haley's car. Oh, we're not giving this car to Haley. It's way too easy to fit a mattress in the back. Remember? Oh no, we're selling it. What? Mm-hmm. Unless you don't think you can. I'm gonna fix all that anyway. And then, uh, it's gonna be Haley's car. Oh, we're not giving this car to Haley. 
It's way too easy to fit a mattress in the back. The car they're talking about is a station wagon, and this type of car was created in the 1960s. A station wagon isn't a specific brand, but rather a body style or shape of a car. The car is characteristically long and has a large door in the back. This is why Claire is worried that her daughter will put a mattress in the back of it. She is worried that her daughter will eventually enjoy the large back seat with her boyfriend. Remember? Oh no, we're selling it. We are selling it. This sentence uses the present continuous tense. And one of the uses of the present continuous is to express definite future plans. Claire says we are selling the car, implying that she's making the official plans right now to sell the car in the future. Another example of this use of the continuous tense is the train is leaving in 10 minutes. This means the train has a definite future plan to leave the station within 10 minutes. What? Mm -hmm. Unless you don't think you can. Claire says, unless you don't think you can. She's implying that maybe Phil cannot sell the car if he tried. Let's see how he responds. Really? Yeah. Seriously? You can't. You honestly think that's going to work? You can't sell it. Really? Yeah. Seriously? You can't. You honestly think that's going to work? You can't sell it. You honestly think that's going to work? Claire decides to use reverse psychology on her husband. This means that she will tell him that he can't do something in order to motivate him to prove her wrong. So she says, unless you don't think you can sell it. This is why Phil responds saying, you honestly think that's gonna work? He means, do you really think reverse psychology is going to make me sell this car? You know what? You can insult a lot of things about me. My hair, my voice, my balance board exercises, but don't insult my selling. That crosses a line. One line? Oh, you don't see it? That's because I just sold it. You know what? You can insult a lot of things about me. My hair, my voice, my balance board exercises. You know what? This is a very common expression that is used to get someone's attention to present a topic. The expression is usually used to emphasize whatever the next statement is. The topic introduced could be surprising, sad, positive, or negative. For example, you know what? I lost my keys again. Or you know what? I'm hungry. But don't insult my selling. That crosses a line. One line? Oh, you don't see it? That's because I just sold it. So Phil says people can insult anything about him, but insulting his ability to sell something crosses a line. To cross a line is an idiom that means someone has overstepped a serious boundary of what is acceptable, and it's causing offense or pain. But Phil quickly makes a joke saying that you can't even see the line because he sold it, implying that he can sell the car as well. So Claire's reverse psychology actually did work. You know what? You can insult a lot of things about me, my hair, my voice, my balance board exercises, but don't insult my selling. That crosses a line. One line? Oh, you don't see it? That's because I just sold it. Thank you guys for watching another video here on Easy Online English. And, you know, we don't want you to subscribe. Actually, don't leave a comment down below. We hope you have a good day and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.